Now, I'm not no big beef eater, but my friend got me going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs with this delicious New York strip steak. So juicy and flavorful, and we gonna fry some shrimp with it too. Honey, it's surf and turf time at Jackie's Cooking. I'll be back. Today we're doing the surf and turf. Surf and turf. Sister friend of 31, all going on 31 years, Rhonda. And uh, we're going to make a, a surf and turf. Okay. This is Jackie's husband, everybody. CJ, say hello. The raw. I think it's, you know, I want people to see the rawness of what we do. Right, right. You know, and it's just about keeping it real. So, guys. Um, Rhonda's going to do I, I'm, I'm her doing steak. I'm about one and a half ounce of steak. Yeah, how many um, steaks? It's New York strip. We have six, six slices here. Or six okay. pieces. Okay. Now, guys, I just want to let it be known. I'm new to this. I'm not new to cooking, but I'm new to Jackie's cooking. Yes. So, I just want to say this. I know there are a lot of you that do cook, and you know, and but then there are some of you who don't. Those of you who don't, I just want to give you my method on steak. Um, I don't drown it in a lot of water. Why? Because it toughens the meat, and that's not what we want. What I do, my ingredients is simple. Just black pepper, garlic powder, salt, butter. Lots of that beautiful butter. Right. And if you want, you can drizzle a little olive oil on it. If that's your, that's your preference, that's up to you. Okay, okay, so what I'm gonna start by doing is I'm gonna start dabbing the steak with the paper towel. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take my bit, dab that onto the paper towel. And you said you don't like out. you don't like draining it in water? No, because what it does, it toughens the meat. We don't want that. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna dab each side of the steak. With some vinegar. Do you have uh, another plate or something I could just put this oh, one in? Sure, so I'm mix it. sure, definitely. Uh, like I said, guys, I'm new to her cooking show, but um. But you know, and it's good for me to have a special guest, right? There you we know, go. because you know everybody has their own different way of cooking. I'm not really such a big meat eater. Okay. So. Well, I eat meat, but not like beef and stuff like that. I mean, something like once in a blue moon. Very good steak. What is the strip steak? And it's New York strip steak. Okay. It's very good steak. It's not like chuck steak, which is very flavorful, but right. you know, chuck steak takes a longer time to cook. Right. This, you don't really need to cook that long, depending on how you like it. If you like it rare, I mean, well, medium rare, usually I cook it four minutes on each side. Oh, to okay. me, that's the perfect steak. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can cook it a little longer if you, you choose to. But that's, that's for totally medium rare. To you. Right. Four minutes on each side, guys. That's really all you need. Wow. But if you have, the, everybody has a different palate. So those of you who want it a little more, a lot of people like it well done. Some people like it, you know, medium rare. Some people like it rare. Um, but you think medium rare is the best? I, I would say. I, okay. I think so. And know? is it because But the, it's not, you know, there are other people who like this thing, you know? You know, because I'm well you done. Know, yeah, because I usually like it Some well done. Some people are afraid of the blood. And, right. But right. to me, that's the best thing about the steak. Why is that, you know, though? It's just, I don't know. It's just, to me, it's just more good. It's flavorful. You don't need a lot of seasoning for steak. You really? Don't. Really? Why? Why do you? Because steak t it has its own flavor, like mm. like almost like pork. Right. Right. You know, true. when it's good steak, you don't need a bunch of seasoning that hides the flavor. That's right. my opinion. Right. Right. You know, I um, agree. There may be some people that disagree. And, but no, but I, I do get it because sometimes we could go. We you don't. Could overdo. You want to taste the meat. You don't right. want to taste a bunch of seasoning. You know. Don't get me wrong. You know, seasoning is good for those of you who like it. Hey. But to me, you don't need a lot of seasoning good steak, steak. Mm. Not, you know, good steak. That is. Yeah. Wow. So and right now you're just dabbing it. I'm just it. dabbing it with some vinegar. You can, I mean, if you, you can use, I mean, if you choose, if you want more vinegar, by all means. Oh, wow. This is a different for technique for me. But uh, this is my 
technique of steak. Now that we yeah. have all of these, wow. the apple is going to come. We're going to clean. I like to clean as I go. Okay. Yeah, no, I think that's like so important. Yeah. Now, some people like to dab a little uh, olive oil on the steak as yeah. they go. You can do that, you know, um, but that. you know, I, I like a little butter on top of my steak. That's yeah, you put olive oil and but butter? Let's get this pan hot. Okay, so let's get this nice and hot. Okay, so now guys, I'm going to go for the seasoning. Like I said, you don't need a lot of seasoning on steak. Okay, so, so how much? I'll have a little red wine here. You know, it, there's nothing wrong with a little glass at night, you know, yeah, in the comfort of your own home and along with being safe and moderate. So now we're going to go according to not to cut my sister off, but now we're going to season some steak. Okay. So right, how much now, are you, how I much are you adding on well, each you side? Well, I, I'm not too familiar with, with the, the measurements, measurements. Okay. I would okay. say about, uh, Maybe a teaspoon, I would say, or maybe a half a teaspoon. On okay, a half a teaspoon on each side. Right. Are you going to, now, you sometimes back? what I like to do is I like to season one side and then flip it and rub it onto the other. Okay. But in this, in this case, we're not going to do it that way. All right, so. So let's just go the long way. All right, so you're going to like, okay, so you, I would say you're using like a half a teaspoon. About of, half a teaspoon. Of, 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 of on each side. side. Yeah. So for each steak, guy. I would say a total of one teaspoon, and since we have about yes, six a total steaks, of one teaspoon. we have about six steaks. Well, it's like a half a teaspoon on each side. So I'm only removing some of the steaks so we can have room on the plate. Yet. Right. Okay. So now that I've done that, mm, guys. Okay, I'm gonna take my salt. Oh, a pinch of salt. Pinch um, of salt. Kosher salt is good I usually good don't talk about like you know. I usually be like. Oh my God, they add like a pinch of salt, but you know what? You don't need all of that. I, you know what? I need to learn that. You know, being you a know. chef does not mean, or being a cook doesn't mean you can't learn new. So I love the fact that Rhonda's on here. Right. AKA, yes. you know, my okay. sweet different yes. friend, you know. Sweet I am. Yes, I am. So you're adding like, that's I'm like a quarter, the what's that, like a... Well, I said a quarter about, of a teaspoon yeah, on each yeah, side. Yeah, like that. Okay. I mean, you know, you know. So really, you go according according to your palate. According to your palate. Okay. But to me, that just takes away some good taste. Mmm. Okay. Okay, and I'm just gonna do a dash of pepper, not too much. You That's know, so the then again, it's according to what you like. You know, not too much pepper. Mm -hmm. So that's like it seems like an eighth of a teaspoon on right. each side. So that, that would be like a quarter of a teaspoon of of black pepper. Right, not too much. Just, just for each steak. Drizzle over. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, and then we're gonna take that, that guys, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip them over. Mm. Now let me ask you: Do you allow the steaks to sit for a minute? Not really. I just get. I just start. Yeah, I get busy. Right, because we ain't got time. We ain't got for time all that. for all that. I know that's right. Okay, so now I'm drizzling some garlic powder on the other side. Okay, that's another quarter of uh, uh, a right. half a teaspoon of garlic. Now I love me some garlic. Yeah, so I, I love I garlic. So there's nothing wrong. But it's the you salt know, you got to right. be careful because yeah. you could always you could always add with. But you can't never take away. I so you want to control. Put salt on here? No, not on that side. Okay. No, not on that side. So we're gonna drizzle the salt on this side. So that's like an eighth of a pin, an eighth of a teaspoon right. of salt on now each I'm side. Going to this one. So each steak, guys, would get about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Right. Uh, a teaspoon of um, garlic powder. Actually, you take a couple of Um. A half a teaspoon of black pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's all you really need. That's all you really. And you know, I mean, you know, I'm very do 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 when I cook. So, and our pan is getting nice and hot. And now I don't have a broiler in uh, in here, and I don't have. But this this is how hot you want it, right? Yeah. Something like this. Yeah. You can turn it down a little bit though, because we're gonna. Okay. Make sure it goes all down in here. Maybe we need a little more here. Yes. It. You know, a little rosemary, guys. Um, if you have, I've, I, I mean, I've worked with sage and other aspects, but not 
you know, when I like to cleanse and stuff like that, I use sage, but I've never cooked with sage. Yeah, right. I've never cooked with sage. Sage so, is a beautiful. I mean, uh, I, mean, I don't, I mean, it smells very musty. But what we're gonna do now, close the drawer. And then Jackie's gonna cook her beautiful shrimp. Yes, and we're gonna yes. put all this together. I think we're ready to see how this comes out. All right. All right, so, guys. Let's try it. One. Wow, oh my God. Already. Yes. Wow. Wow. Look at All right, guys. So we Get have to back. do. We can bring it down. I guess the temperature. Yeah, we'll bring it down. Five, probably. Five, yeah. Five. It's going to brown. So, you know, um, you need another plate or you got your plate ready? Okay. I got a plate right here. So, guys, um, we just, we know, the little idea that we working. had wasn't working. It wasn't happening. We tried, though. You know, very smoky. Love Open that. Open delicious. Oh, turn that because you know that that fire thing is going to go off. Yeah. Oh God! And you know what? I love the way this is smelling right now. You smell, yeah. you smell the beef. Yeah. So now it's you smell that nice meat. meat, like you know. Okay. Mm. Now I'm gonna turn her. Wow! Look at that beautiful brown. Oh color. yes, that's All what right. I want. All right. Yes. Oh. Look hey. Yes. Now right. we're talking. Yes, Miss Pig. So this Whoa. originally takes like what? Four minutes. Yeah, four on minutes each side. on each side, I would say. But I did, I just took it a little over because we had to shift it. Um, you know, take the green off. But that's okay. That's okay. Oh wow, I'm really gonna enjoy this tonight. And it's good to have somebody else cook. Yeah. You know, my husband's also a nice, a decent cook too. You know, his yeah, ex. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, smell that? Yes, I smell that. Mm, wow. And important. because you know what it is, guys, and I'm learning something here. Sometimes less is more. Right. You know, I love flavor from every aspect. But again, sometimes certain things don't need like turkey is different. You gotta see yeah, the you crap out of yeah, turkey. Yeah, you gotta see. You but, know, and the turkey is really good in a brown paper bag. Yes, it is. Really? We mean brown paper bag. Brown paper bag, yeah. You can see you season your turkey and you stick it in a brown paper bag. You put mean a plastic bag? Or, no, oh, a brown paper really? Bag. Put it in the refrigerator overnight. Take that sucker out, excuse my language, guys, and honey. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah. Girl, really? Talk about good turkey. Mm. Mm. All those flavors coming to one. It's like robust flavors. Wow. Know? Really, really. Uh, it's, it's you know, being with my wife, I, I, she taught me, I already knew a lot of things. I'm a foodie as well, but she taught me so many uh, different techniques on how to cook. Really? And, uh, yeah, she can cook her ass off. Another one, cook her ass off. Mm. Is she better than me? Now, but she's just as good. <laughs> Oh, wow. Let's just put it like that. Train your palate, guys. Exactly. On different ways. So I'm always welcome. So I'm going to take this one out, guys, because this is the way I like it. Right, my right. Mm. And what do you do with the rest of that butter? Like You put it around it. You make a butter sauce and drizzle it is over. Is that what you're going to do, it too? Will, it would be great to make a nice basil and butter sauce. Oh, wow. With a little garlic and... Oh, oh, that's that nice. Thing. Let me go to my basil bush, exactly. and I'm gonna get some basil okay, fresh. Okay, some basil okay. butter. What? Oh my. Okay. Some fresh basil. basil. Yes, guys. Some fresh ba basil. That is. Now, like I said, I love butter. Those okay. of you who don't and say cholesterol, well, you know what? You only live once. You only live once. I like to cover it with a little tin foil to keep the heat, you know, like if you're cooking something else. But like I said, steak doesn't take that long to cook. Mm, look at that beautiful color. Oh, what is this here? Um, you know, so, um... Uh, yeah. Well, whatever you know. Well, yeah, you know, it's, 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 it's okay, it's a little bugger. You know, like, you know. Well, you know. Yeah. But yeah, that's a nice little basil butter. Oh Ooh, my good. God. Yes. So I'm gonna get the basil. I'm gonna cut some basil from my bush. Okay, yeah, she has my basil, basil bush. Basil. Basil. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. 
we're going to put in the next one. There we go. Make sure this is all covering the meat. All this wonderful butter. I'm afraid of the meat. I'll say about a, 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 a half of, like maybe two or three strips of it. Oh my God. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna turn my meat. Uh, this is brown, but you know, I wanted to get it a little brown, but that's fine, that's fine. And guys, this, this is what we this did. Beautiful color. This is what we did. Just lightly paint yeah, this, this right. just to like, you know, allow it yeah, to yeah. rest and relax. Right. You know? And we're gonna clean as we go, because we are clean. So while that is happening, guys, we got a uh, 12 ounce of shrimp that's already rinsed, okay? Which I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and, you know, okay? And I'm going to add some mustard. Believe it or not, yeah, mustard. Really. Yeah. yeah. And I've never tried that with shrimp. I do it with chicken. Yeah. Yeah, which is good. Which is excellent. Okay. This is not going to make it hot. It's going to give it, you know, but not that. Okay. okay. And we're going to add a little dip of hot sauce. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. I like flavor. Okay. You know, I'm going to add a pack of sazon con culanto de achiote. We'll add some garlic powder. Wow. That's about a teaspoon oh. of garlic powder, a teaspoon of black pepper, a tablespoon of uh, mustard, mm. a teaspoon of whatever, you know, amounts of some black pepper. So this is about a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of black pepper. So we'll take this one out. Yeah, some seasoned salt, a half a teaspoon. Okay, and that's basically it, you know, just to season our shrimp. Just get the shrimp. You know, and you could add more garlic, because I love garlic, oh, so what? I'm going to, you know, and even with the salt and pepper, guys, you could do what you like. Mm-hmm. I see what you're thinking. You need to get it nice and cool. Yeah. So, Rhonda, you could explain to them what you did. With what? Your face? Yeah. Well, I just turned it into a plate from the pot. I mean, from the pan. You added a little. Yes, I added a little oil. And um, now I'm going to put my next steak in. I'm going to add a little bit more butter, butter and a little to the bit pan. Of oil. Yes, I did. And these are the last two. Wow. And you can see the beautiful color mm. on the steaks. Look at that. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh. And I'm sure they're going to taste divine. <laughs> now, before you cut it, you let it rest for how long so the juices um, can get together? It, I, I would let it rest for about at least a minute, two minutes, you know, and then let it, because they can get cold, too. So oh. you, you want to cut it like on the bias, I think that's what they call it. Against, but you can uh, write against, against the, the bias, grain. but you don't have to. You know, like me, I just get it. I just Listen, we just it. go just in. You know, my friends. So I'm going to add a little more black pepper, some more garlic powder. You just have to watch your salt. That's that's the thing, your salt. You know, you have to watch that salt, guys. Okay? All right, that's the... Get that in there. Yes. Woo, Nelly. This one you turned over? Yeah. Okay, this is the last one. And then after that, you're gonna make it. Sure. Mm. I mean the butter. Okay, honey. Yeah. And she is gone. All right. Okay, so we can turn this off. All right. Well, aren't you gonna? So you don't really need that to melt Not the butter. Really, no. Okay. So I'm gonna move Clean these the out of the way. So guys, now we're gonna make that butter sauce, right? Right, this is my first time trying this, so, so put that in. Okay. You don't, the, you don't need the, you don't need the, you don't need the point for that, really. Okay. Because the pan is already hot. Okay. 
So we're going to add so some basil. Basil, 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 you don't want the basil to get too You're going to add a little bit more um, butter. you add a little bit more butter. Yeah, turn this off. Turn this off. That's off. That's what it is. Okay. You're going to let that, that butter just simmer Would you like me to? Yes, you may. Yes. And how about the garlic working. powder? You can use the garlic powder. Where is that? Mm, that looks, look at all this beautiful. Mm. Okay. So you want to keep it away from the, right. Okay. Mm. And here we go. Wow, and guys, look at that, oh my God. And then that's our sauce, we're just gonna drizzle that over the steak. Oh my God. But the whole trick is not to let that butter get burned. All right. There we go. All right, butter. Oh my God, look at that, guys. Wow. We're gonna drizzle it over that, yeah. Mmm. Each piece should get some, but. You, you, get the right, idea. Honey, you, you get, get the idea. You get the idea, guys. That beautiful flavor, you know. Mmm. I, you know, with all that flavor. Okay. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. This is. Mmm. 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 -mm. Right. That's a delight. That's a delight right there. Look at that, and all those beautiful juices. Yes, you see. Mmm. So we're gonna just lightly cover that, guys, like that, so the flavors can run, they get to know each other. Okay, and we're gonna quickly work on our, okay. I love my Jackie Cole so much. This is my baby, my sister, oh. my best friend, a combination of everything. Oh. We've been friends for 31 yes, years. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And when you have a friend that long, you never let them go. True, honey. You never let them go. Don't argue by. over stupidity. Right, if it's dumb to. and stupid, like years ago, I got to tell you guys a story. Oh, my God. I got to tell it. You have to? Years ago. Uh -huh. I'm embarrassed. We argued over a piece of steak because I felt like my, my Jackie Fool gave me a steak bone and they had more meat than I had. And she and I didn't speak for a whole year because of that. That was, I know it was dumb. I know it was stupid. I get it. But I learned my lesson, you know. You never argue over something so dumb and stupid, you know. Oh my God. But she's been my friend to the end. I lost one of my, my other best friends that, you know, yeah. I miss tremendously, but you know, Jackie has been a great part of my life. Aww. And if it wasn't for her, I, I probably would be just grieving completely, you know. But, yeah. um, and I hope he's watching. You know, I got my shrimp. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm take my flour, okay, and uh, my shrimp's already seasoned. Oh, you didn't have to fry them. Huh? Did you fry them? Yeah. Oh, even better. And uh, get the oil. Oh, it'd be nice if I turned on the, uh, the stove. <laughs> okay, that'd be nice, right? Really fast. Yeah, I know. And you know, when I first, guys, I'm from the city, so I'm used to gas stoves. Mine's is like an electric. Is it really? I think this is an electric stove. Yeah. Well, you would know when you pull it out and see if this is right. Electric. It is electric, so I don't. We don't, you know. So yeah. I'm yeah because at first I was like, oh god, right. I'm not gonna get used to yeah. this. But it, I got yeah, really I'm used that to it. Already doing it. See. It's already small. Right. It, to me, it's quicker, you know, than that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So now, guys, put my uh, yes. So we're gonna season these fried these shrimps up in here. You guys, if you have, you know, because this is something I've always wanted to know. I've done it before, you it, but I would love, I would love to do this. I would love if you to are that. a cook. And you love to cook, and you know the holidays are coming, Thanksgiving is coming, you know, and you could spare a few plates of food, you know, to the homeless. I, I think we should do that, you know, because I love to feed people. Ain't nothing, there is a, a plate of food is nothing no. to give to people, no, you know. Not. And when you're giving this food, you're giving you it with love. About it. You feel 
good about it. It's you know, very, to make sure somebody. I, I, a lot of people that I've um, heard that have done has done that. They said it's such a, a good experience, and it makes you feel good just doing good. Right. People. You know, it makes you feel good. Right. It's a great feeling. It's a great so guys, you know, we're not going to cook these shrimp for long. I'm shaking off any excess um, flour. And I'm adding to my oil here. You know. Do a little surf and turf here. Steak and shrimp. So my husband, you know, who loves to eat, you know, we're just having a good little family night because, you know, we all have jobs and just to come together and cook, you know, and uh, get together and eat, you know, and enjoy. And there's so many people that are not fortunate to have, you know. Right. Yes, yeah, so guys, I'm going to start turning my shrimp. All right, you know, I got this on medium high heat, guys. Shrimp is something you don't have to cook long. You know, and uh, like I said, you know, shrimp really does not take long to cook because you don't want them to become tough. Nice, beautiful colors of shrimp. Ain't nothing like a beautiful surf and turf. And I'm gonna finish cooking these shrimp, guys, okay? We'll be back. Do for the start. And I believe that we only just begun. Yes, guys. Okay, we have our shrimp here. You know, we have our broccoli, some potato salad, and our steak. So let's start with the steak, guys. I want to take this beautifulness here. You know, I have to talk to the doggy. Huh? Yeah. Get mm. the button, boo-boo. Mm. Get the button, boy. <laughs> oh, can you put her on camera so they can see how cute she is? Aww. She is so adorable. Yeah. Oh, my Isn't goodness. she so good? Isn't she so good? Say hi, Jazzy. Say hi. Yes, you motherfucker. I just worry about the food. I don't give a shit. Can you get my auntie? I your fault. I your my auntie. Take her on the bed. She's so on cute. On the bed. Get my auntie. Take the bed. I can give you some food, please. You know, so, look at our we'll Take a little of your wine. Of course, can't yes. do anything without a little glass of wine. A little honey. glass of vino, honey. Yes, honey. Mm. Look at our nice steak here. Touch mm -hmm. that steak. Has that nice, Ooh. nice, you know, it yeah, has that nice that slice. Basil and, yeah. basil and the little redness here. It's not well, overly yeah. done. Right, exactly. You know, and, and uh, we could add a little more juice, but that's fine. It's oh, we could pour a little ju what, juice of the thing? From the, from the thing? Yeah, itself. it's a little juicy here. Let me put a little, my friend is so right. A little bit of yeah. that butter. Let me show a little bit of that. Yeah, so baby. Let me show the juice, mm. the juiciness. The juice, the oh, jus, honey. Thick. The jus. The French, oh, honey, all right? Yes, Take that first bite, honey. There we go. Yes. Mm. All right. Mmm. How you like it? Mmm. Very nice. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, mmm. I'm going to cover my thumb. Don't worry, you don't get your arm. I know. I know. You, be you best believe that. <laughs> you best believe mm. it. Mm. I'm going to cover my thumb. Mmm. But I don't have to eat this so much, guys. Uh -huh. She had her surgery, so she has to take it easy. Mm, yeah. But I don't. Mm -hmm. So buttery. Mm. See so what that tender. butter does? I love butter. Mm. Okay, here we go. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. You taste, and it's so simple because you taste the charredness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we didn't, over, we didn't overpower mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with all that other tulun tulun tu. Right, exactly. And, and you allowed the so flavor good. of the beef to come together. It's so juicy, oh guys. Oh my god, and that basil just added that extra, right. like, oh. Yeah, a little butter, that basil, and garlic. Flavor, yes. Now, if we had fresh garlic, of course it would be, it would you be, know. Yeah. 
But that's okay. We, we work with, with, with what we had. Let's try this shrimp Let's honey. Let's try that. Mmm. Oh, mm. Mm. Yes. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, right? Yeah. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm, mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. That's what you call stir and stir, huh? Mmm, mmm. Our broccoli. Mmm, mmm. Excuse me, folks. Mmm, we going to end. Mmm. Right? Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Right? Potato salad. Mmm. That's one of the money. Okay. I'm be full. I know. Guys, my husband's up here. He's ready for business. He already got okay, his, uh, go. I'm ready to eat his face posture. on. His stance posture. His stance posture. No, I'm going to show your posture, Don't okay? talk much, just want to get a plate up. This is his posture, guys. <laughs> like, I'm waiting. Thank you for joining us, and I'm going to say you thank so you. Much. To my friend Rhonda for you know showing her recipe here. Yeah, guys, don't forget to like, share. You know, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Please you know, look out for Dickerson that's coming out with her channel soon. Yes, and yes. please give us a thumbs up, okay? And um, don't forget to share, like, and press that notification bell, guys. And I need you to do three things for me, and that is eat, love. And friends. Yes. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank Bye. Thank you. Bye bye.